Hello everyone, good to see every one of you again. Uh, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can generate an amazing candidate profile summary with the help of ChatGPT. And we will compare two outputs from GPT-3 and GPT-4 as well. To do that, we need to install one handy little Chrome extension that is going to help us. As you could see here on my screen, there is an addition for an input box in ChatGPT that allowing me to add either pre-prompts, right? Something that is going to be added at the beginning of my of my input actually, right? And post prompt as well. So in order to get this functionality, you need to install the extension. I'm going to be linking it in, in the description of this video. It's called GPT Prompt Master. So how does it work? As soon as you installed it, first of all, when you refresh the page with ChatGPT, you might see these two fields appeared here. But in order to add some prompts, either pre-prompts or post-prompts, you need to head over and click on the icon of the extension in the sidebar, click on settings, and you will be redirected to the menu where you can actually add either pre-prompts or post-prompts, right? So how does it work? You can input anything you want, right? Enter your pre-prompt, then give it a title, click save, Okay, and then in the drop down you will see that you can navigate and it will load the input here and that's how you can actually do it. So the prompt we are going to be using today is actually this one. I require you to adopt the role of a seasoned technical recruiter. Given the data extracted from the candidate LinkedIn profile, I'd like you to generate structured table containing comprehensive answers to the following inquiries. Right, and then a bunch of things we want ChatGPT to generate responses for us, right? Let's see it in action. So we will go over to Google. I see that I have some of the connections working there as a software engineer. So let's just pick up randomly this guy. Okay, so assuming that we having this person in our first connection network, right, degree, we are downloading his profile as a PDF, then copying everything from here getting back to chat gpt now we are using gpt3 version so what we need to do now is to choose the pre prompt that i've just shown you right from the drop down list and in our case it's tech candidate summary right and then simply paste the candidate profile information and hit enter and there we go here is we have the profile summary right current job title and responsibilities focusing on backend development over 12 years, industries experienced in, right? Technologies in prior roles, quite good, quite amazing. Yeah, education, all that stuff. Experience with cloud platforms, yes, experience with AWS, amazing. So it's doing really, really great job on that, I think. And let's check out the first, the GPT-4 right what is going to come up with what we need to do sometimes this box with pre-prompts and post-prompts disappearing you need to refresh the page in order to again load it let's do the same with gpt4 version right so we are choosing tech candidate summary pasting the candidate profile and sending it to chat gpt okay interesting you see it much slower but still you will see that the output is much more it's, it's looking better right it's much better formatted than the previous one and also you see it's interesting that it's already specifying that he's working on vr os right uh, telemetry and it wasn't specified earlier okay so yeah really really much more concise summary right and really really great job on that okay cool i hope that it was it was useful for you i will leave the prompt to this tech candidate summary that i'm using in the description to this video so you can easily utilize it and use it on your own yeah uh, thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one bye bye